Hosea chapter 2, starting all over. Readings from the Message Bible and from the King James Bible, with explanations. Here follows a reading of Hosea chapter 2, verses 14 to 23, from the Message Bible. And now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start all over again. I'm taking her back out into the wilderness, where we had our first date, and I'll court her. I'll give her bouquets of roses. I'll turn Heartbreak Valley into Acres of Hope. She'll respond like she did as a young girl, those days when she was fresh out of Egypt. At that time, this is God's message still, you'll address me, dear husband, Never again will you address me, my slave master. I'll wash your mouth out with soap, get rid of all the dirty false god names, not so much as a whisper of those names again. At that time I'll make a peace treaty between you and wild animals and birds and reptiles, and get rid of all weapons of war. Think of it, safe from beasts and bullies. And then... I'll marry you for good, forever. I'll marry you true and proper, in love and tenderness. Yes, I'll marry you and never leave you nor let you go. You'll know me, God, for who I really am. On the very same day I'll answer, this is God's message, I'll answer the sky, sky will answer earth, Earth will answer grain and wine and olive oil, and they'll all answer Jezreel. Three meanings. One, God sows, seed. Two, name of Hosea's first son. Three, a call for justice for the slaughter of Ahab's family at the city of Jezreel by Jehu when he made himself king. The punishment includes Jehu's great-grandson, King Jeroboam. I'll plant her, the bride of Yahweh, in the good earth. I'll have mercy on no mercy, Hosea's second child, a girl. I'll say to nobody, Hosea's third child, a boy, you're my dear somebody, and he'll say, you're my God. Hosea, 750 to 722 BCE, stands unique in Scripture for its poetic beauty and rich imagery, but mostly for the theme that all human flirtation with sin leads to ruin, and only serves to contrast the remarkable love of the covenant God Yahweh for a people unworthy of his unfailing devotion. In Hosea, Yahweh is portrayed as the faithful husband and the Hebrew tribes as a perverse wife. Indeed, that is where Hosea starts. The prophet is told to marry a prostitute and have children with her, as a living parable. Historical setting. King David's son, the once wise Solomon, has died. His many wives have introduced worship practices from the surrounding nations. Solomon's son, Rehoboam, succeeds the throne and threatens to tax the people heavily. In rebellion, ten Hebrew tribes break away to form the northern kingdom of Israel, referred to as Ephraim in Hosea because their first king, Jeroboam II, was an Ephraimite. Israel, Ephraim, the ten northern tribes, now brings fertility cult practices into the Hebrew temple services. The Wrath of God One of the most descriptive passages in Scripture concerning the wrath of God is found in Romans chapter 1, verses 24, 26 and 28, where God allows humans to have their own way and no longer restrains them by His Spirit. This letting go, or giving over, is depicted in Hosea chapter 4, verse 17. Ephraim is addicted, 
joined King James Version, to idols. Let him go. By their flagrant perversion of the worship of Yahweh, the ten northern tribes set themselves outside of God's protection. Eventually, Assyrian armies invade and disperse the people throughout the Assyrian Empire, starting 722 BCE, after Hosea's death. Other peoples are moved into place, some of which become the Samaritans, of whom Jesus said, You worship guessing in the dark. We Jews worship in the clear light of day. John 4.22 in the south remain the tribes of Judah, through whom the Messiah will be born, and Benjamin, with some of the priests. More Levites will move down from the north later. Hosea chapter 1 through chapter 2 verses 1 to 13 is painful reading, but without it, chapter 2 verses 14 to 23 loses its intensity. Hosea's historical account contains a message that lives on for our modern age. The great I Am still woos human lives from the unsatisfying pleasures of sin and offers his unchanging love to transform whosoever, John 3.16, into the likeness of his Son. And now a reading of the whole of Hosea chapter 2, from the King James Bible. 1. Say ye unto your brethren, Ami, my people, and to your sisters, Ruhamah, shown mercy. 2. Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight, and her adulteries from between her breasts. 3. Lest I strip her naked, and set her as in the day that she was born, and make her as a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. 4. And I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. 5. For their mother hath played the harlot, she that conceived them hath done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers. Give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. 6. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns, and make a wall that she shall not find her paths. 7a. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them, and she shall seek them, but shall not find them. 7b. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better with me than now. 8. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. 9. Therefore will I return, and take away my corn in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and will recover my wool and my flax given to cover her nakedness. 10. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of mine hand. 11. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, and her sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts. 12. And I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, whereof she hath said, These are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat them. 13. And I will visit upon her the days of Balaam, wherein she burned incense to them. And she decked herself with her earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers, and forgat me, saith the Lord. 
14. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, and bring her into the wilderness, and speak comfortably unto her. 15. And I will give her her vineyards from thence, and the valley of Accor trouble, for a door of hope, and she shall sing there as in the days of her youth, and as in the day when she came up out of the land of Egypt. 16. And it shall be at that day, saith the Lord, that thou shalt call me Ishi, my husband, and shalt no more call me Bailey, my master. 17. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. 18. And in that day will I make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, and with the creeping things of the ground. And I will break the bow, and the sword, and the battle out of the earth, and I will make them to lie down safely. 19. And I will betroth thee unto me for ever. Yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness, and in judgment, and in loving kindness, and in mercies. 20. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. 21. And it shall come to pass in that day, I will hear, saith the Lord, I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth. 22. And the earth shall hear the corn, and the wine, and the oil, and they shall hear Jezreel, God plants. 23a. And I will sow her unto me in the earth. 23a New Living Translation. At that time I will plant a crop of Israelites and raise them for myself. 23b. And I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people. And they shall say, Thou art my God. Hosea's time was during about the last forty years of the northern kingdom. He began his ministry when Israel, under Jeroboam II, was at the zenith of its power. He was a younger contemporary of Amos, an older contemporary of Isaiah and Micah. As a child, he may possibly have known Jonah. The kings in whose reigns he prophesied were Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah in the country of Judah, and Jeroboam the second in the country of Israel. In summary, Hosea chapter 2 verse 23, I'll say to nobody, You're my dear somebody, and he'll say, You're my God. The Hebrew word Hosea means salvation. Hosea is one of twelve prophets referred to as the minor prophets in the Christian Old Testament. This audio recording was an introduction to the writings of the prophet Hosea.